In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a regular window mounted air conditioner unit into a vacuum pump. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is remove the refrigerant from the air conditioner. Here I've brought the air conditioning unit to a recycling facility called Pure Sphera, where they are going to remove the refrigerant for me. Many recycling centers are happy to remove this refrigerant for free, or will even pay you to remove it. More than 85% of the gas in cooling coils in Canada continues to be released into the atmosphere. So here he's attaching a device that punctures a hole into the closed loop system while maintaining a closed loop and he's able to siphon out the gas. Here you see the refrigerant being pulled out from the unit. Here we go. Thank you. It's important to properly remove this refrigerant as pound per pound it is equivalent to over 1,000 pounds of CO2 per pound of refrigerant. There's also over a $25,000 fine in the United States if you are caught illegally purging this refrigerant. Here I had to dremel off the plastic casing around the capacitor. Most capacitors aren't secured so tightly to the casing like this, so it's likely you will not need a dremel for your project. I continue to remove screws from the unit and take apart the air conditioner. Here I'm using a tube cutter to remove the radiator. I also clipped some wires that are going to a temperature reader on the radiator. Underneath the unit, I detach the bolts that are connecting the compressor to the plastic and remove the hamster wheel fan. A few more screws to remove, holding on the other radiator and fan. Here I've disconnected the fan from the unit and I am cutting the radiator from the tube. There's not enough space to fully cut it with the tube cutter, so here I have to just pry it off by wiggling it. I'll be doing a cleaner cut higher up, so it doesn't matter if we crimp the tube here. The final bolt was seized into the plastic, so I had to knock it out. And here we have the compressor basically completed. Now we just need to do some final wiring and it is good to go for use as an air compressor or as a vacuum pump. And here I'm removing the temperature controller and the fan controller as we'll no longer be using either of those. The only parts of the air conditioner we're using are the power cord, the capacitor and the compressor. Everything else can be removed. So here I'm removing the extra wires that were connected to the capacitor that we're feeding to the fan. We should now be left with only three exposed wires. The capacitor should have two wires connected to the compressor, and the compressor should have one wire that is left loose here. The power cord should have two wires that are left loose. One ground wire and one power wire. All right, so for the wiring stage, we're going to take the two exposed wires that aren't the ground wire and connect them, and that's all you have to do. I take the red wire from the compressor and connect it with the black wire from the power cord. To do so, I grab a piece of scrap copper that I ripped off one of the connectors from the temperature controller. Power it on, and if it buzzes on, it's ready to go. And there you go, making a vacuum pump is that simple. Just make sure you properly purge the refrigerant first. Call around your city, uh, you'll be surprised to find that lots of places will even pay you to remove the refrigerant from your air conditioner. I then secured the capacitor to the unit with duct tape and added some wool to the top to catch oil vapor. There are plenty of uses for a vacuum pump. You can attach it to the vacuum chamber and use that as a low pressure to do things such as evaporate water or other substances at room temperature. So here I have some liquid that I was allowing to evaporate just naturally through room temperature. And it's been quite slow, so I'm going to add it to the beaker here and evaporate it using a uh, low pressure from the vacuum. So the small plastic vacuum chamber that I found for sale at Salvation Army for three bucks.
thanks for checking my video out. I should have another one coming out soon showing you how to make your own vacuum chamber for cheap. In the meantime, if you haven't, please subscribe to my videos. I have new videos coming out weekly or more often than that. And if you like the content, give it a head and give it a like. It really helps my channel out. Thanks. Go.